And taking a live look at the city, falling downtown property values are one reason. The Allegheny County Executive says the county has no choice but to raise property taxes. Today, though, homeowners have flooded county council offices with calls protesting the proposed 46% property tax increase. KDK lead investigator Andy Sheehan talked to council members who say some of them can't get behind an increase of that size. Since the budget announcement yesterday, county council members say they've gotten an earful from their constituents and say they've heard enough. That 46% property tax increase is dead on arrival. Citing flat revenues and end to federal COVID aid and rising costs, in a Murado dropped a bomb. So today we are asking for a 2.2 mil increase. Since then, council members have heard howls from their constituents about an unprecedented 46% property tax increase. This is just way outside of the bounds of what we could potentially go take back to the taxpayers. I know council member Futolis is already against it. I know councilman Palmasita is against it. And counting heads, council president Pat Katina says there are already enough votes to kill the increase. We have to go back to the drawing board and we have to see where cuts can be made. It's that simple. Inamorado said the hike is needed to meet costs and stave off disaster. The surplus is being depleted and costs are rising, especially for health care at the Kane hospitals and the county jail, where costs have risen more than $20 million. And if we keep on the pace that we're on now, we could completely deplete our reserves in two years, which would be catastrophic for our bond rating and leave us in a precarious situation in the case of an emergency. But council members say she still wants to fulfill a progressive agenda with spending on things like child care, rental assistance, climate change initiatives, and housing for the homeless. They want her to sharpen her pencil and reduce some of those costs, noting that one of her first actions in office was to raise the wages of all county employees to a minimum of $18 an hour. Last night, we saw where that money is going to come from. She intends to take it from the taxpayers. County Controller Corey O'Connor says the administration needs to generate other revenue by fostering economic development. The frustrating part for all of us should be that there's no vision for growth, development, bringing in jobs, because all of that, you're not going to tax your way out of a decline. And so over the next few weeks, council members say they'll be going over this budget with a fine tooth comb, making all the necessary cuts to bring this tax increase down to size. Reporting downtown, Andy Sheehan, KDKA-TV News.